Hello and welcome to the episode. I'm Nick. I'm Joe. And today, Joe is going to try my KTM 390 adventure, isn't ya? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit scared because uh, I can only just about tippy toe. So tippy toe. I have said, and you can all bear witness that if I do drop it, this is on Nick because he is very desperate for me to try it. <laughs> so he wants to bring me over to the KTM crew. So Only because it's got like corner and ABS and all that. I just think it'd be a nice bike for you to have. Do you know what I mean? I do. I do love this bike though. So, I mean, it'd have to be something pretty special to win me over because I do love me baby B. Baby B? Oh my God, baby G. Baby B, baby you had a B. beetle. That baby B did exist. That was, I had a beetle and the, my, the owner that I bought it off said her name is Baby B. So, because this is Baby G, I keep saying Baby B. All right, we need to pull over somewhere, didn't we? Yes, but it's all a bit bendy at the minute, isn't it? It's a bit, a bit dodge. Well, we're going to find somewhere to pull over and we will jump to that right now. So this is going to be like a De just a natural comparison, isn't it? It's not like a bloody yeah, it's detailed. Not, nothing in depth. I don't know all the terminology anyway. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm chatting about. She didn't know the terminology. I'll stop you on a bit of gravel. Yeah, you'd be all right. Cheers, you're so kind. Well, you got it neutral. Oh, I'll turn mine off. <laughs> I'm not going to wait here. <laughs> no, it's just uh, automatic, isn't it? Oh, in it. <laughs> in it. Isn't it? It is automatic, isn't it? Oh, I've got itchy nose. Surprise. Oh, my God, your suspension is soft. <laughs> oh, my God, your stand. I know, the stand is awful. What? This is well bouncy. Oh, mate, why'd you put me on sand? You'll be all right. <laughs> You're on your tippy toes. I'm really on my tippy toes. I don't like how yours takes quite a few revolutions to start up. I feel like I've... You got it, you got it. I'm going to follow you. Mate. I just want to get off of this sandy bit a minute. So I'm just going to walk it over. You're clear behind, babe. Oh, what are you, what are you? What's that? That was. I got scared of the height. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Oh. It's nice, like going. <laughs> I'm. Uh... Oh my God! My nuts are getting squashed in your tank. <laughs> Well, on your one, I'm sitting in the bike. I know, which is what I'm not liking about yours. I feel like I'm sitting on the edge of the back because I'm so used to mine cupping my bottom Yeah. that I feel like I'm hanging off the back of the bike, which obviously I'm not because it's got... Whoa! Oh, brilliant. That's uh, That was nice for me. <laughs> Did, didn't even look, did he? Didn't no, even look. Didn't even look. What an absolute asshole. Uh, brakes work well, then. I can't keep up with you. Hang on. <laughs> I ain't being fun, not being nasty, but my this that is quicker in it. The KTM is quicker. Yeah, I'm quite surprised. <laughs> I just thought they'd be pretty. Well, I suppose it is 390, mine's 310, but I just thought it wouldn't make a lot of difference. I'm revving the tits out of yours. If it's got tits, yeah. <laughs> You look well posed on it. Do I? Yeah. I'm a smidgy bit nervous. Are you? Yeah. Why? Because of when I go to stop. <laughs> so tall. Yeah. In case I can't quite put my foot down. You get a lot of dive on this GS when you brake. A lot of what? A lot of dive, a lot of fork dive. Oh yeah. There really is. 
It's nice to tip in at the bends. Yeah. I feel like that feels nicer because, oh yeah, this is lighter as well, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to go left because yeah. then we can um, swap over in a minute. Oh, hey, that was fun. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's because there was, was a bit of gravel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait for a big gap just because I can't fucking. Chody. I'll go for it. Sure she does a wheelie. <laughs> that, that was really good. Well done. I thought I indicated. You did. Oh. Oh, I'll have to keep changing gears on this. I'm knocking it down. You keep knocking it down? Yeah, to get it going. <laughs> You, you definitely ride quicker on that that one. Oh, what, the you way I am sort of thing? Yeah, I'm bloody trying to keep up with you. <laughs> yeah, like... You're going fault you on a bloody 30, mate. Oh, dear. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> I do feel, like, very in control of it while I'm going. It's yeah. just the, uh, the stopping. <laughs> I do like yours. Oh, we got traffic lights, babe. Oh, mate. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> really don't like stopping. <laughs> <laughs> the gearbox is very clunky wonky on this. Yeah, this and it is feels like. Clear. Feels like there's a lot of play between your gear stick and the gearbox. Gear stick? You know, gear stick. <laughs> the gear lever. <laughs> gear stick. You know when you're changing gear, it just feels a bit sloppy, you know? Oh, does it? What does mine feel like to you? It's a bit tighter or? I haven't really noticed the difference to be honest. <laughs> I mean I suppose yours does click in quite positively, quite quickly, if that's what you mean by play or whatever. Because I Are don't really always know what you mean with the terminology. Are you positive about that? I am positive. Getting into <laughs> neutral, I don't know I'm going to be too positive about that because you struggle with that. I know. Because these are very similar price when you buy them new, isn't they? Uh, 6,299 uh, was the KTM and these are what, 6,000 new? Yeah. Yeah, so there's not a lot of difference in it. I think you definitely get more for your money with a KTM, definitely. Yeah. I mean, looks-wise, because you know I do go in for the looks, I do prefer the BM for looks. Oh, that's why you married me, babe, wouldn't it? You go for the looks. <laughs> I do indeed. <laughs> oh, God, uh, thank it, my fist. Because your BMW is actually lowered, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, with the seat. Well, yeah, the seat's lowered. And the suspension has been put on the softest, isn't it? Yeah. Probably why it's a bit wallowy. Oh, I can't catch up with you! <laughs> Mine's not even running yet. You ain't going over six, are you? Going where? You ain't going over 6,000, are you? Oh, no. I was only on five then. Oh, mate. Apparently, the magic happens after six. Oh. Oh, don't go around me now, mate. I ain't, mate. <laughs> I was going to, mate, but... <laughs> right, I'll slow up. No, no. I was just going to get a side shot of oh. you. Just keep going as normal, don't worry about me. Because I, if I was to get one of these, I would definitely need it lowered in some shape or form, just so I can at least have my feet touching how they do on, on the BM. Yeah. Because I struggle on heels on the BM, because I can't put my foot down properly. You're definitely going quicker on that. Am I? It, it touched six then and come down. <laughs> Looking good. Thank you. I'd rather stop along here if we can. Nice one. Right, I've got to try and put it in neutral now. Right, let me 
not uh, yours is in neutral. Hey, first time. Oh, the bike likes you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely down in it. Yeah. You're going to get a pick of me on it, maybe, before I yeah. get off? Wait until this car goes. Fans come How on. did you get run over? Yeah, it does get hot. Right, so. Commit, just let, let it go over, that's it. Hey! <laughs> yeah, another downside to mine is that it does get hot. And the fan does kick in. Yeah, when I was doing my um, lessons and that, the on the SVs the fan used to kick in quite quick. I mean, obviously we were on them a long time, but they seemed to kick in quite quick. Oh my God, that fucking stand. Are you ready? Hang on. Right. Ready. Oh, that's better. <laughs> oh, this Whoa. feels so sluggish now. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like there's an elastic band between your throttle, doesn't it? Yeah, like because obviously the last bike I rode before this was the Meteor, and this feels so much faster than the Meteor. So I was like, hey, but now I've got a mat, this feels so sluggish. <laughs> I can hear you revving the tits out of it. I know. <laughs> Good job I didn't have to run this in. <laughs> <laughs> I think it tends to sit at six. <laughs> yeah, I do prefer it. Yours is it's nice to look at. But saying that, I really do like the KTM styling. Yeah. It it's just has that more more of an off-road enduro look to it. Oh yeah, it definitely does. But then I think that you just get more used to things the more you see them anyway. Because like, you've had some bikes where I've thought, oh that looks proper fugly and then I've got used to it and then I thought actually I quite like that. So what is the conclusion darling about this KTM 390 versus your BMW G310 GS? Well I prefer everything about yours barring there's three things I can think of just from this brief ride You've only got five gears, haven't you? I've got six, mate. You've got six? Well, I didn't need to don't use six. Don't, don't, don't insult right. my engine. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Start again. Right. Okay. I prefer everything about your bike, barring two things. One, I prefer my buttocks to be cupped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and um, it's a bit on the tall side, which we could resolve one of those I don't know that I'd be able to get a seat that cups my bum for that see on the other side of it that's a downside for me because that cups my nuts as well yeah I suppose I mean if you're looking at them I would say this like the BM looks more girly not to say like blokes wouldn't have it but of the two this looks more feminine and yours looks yeah. more aimed at guys, which I suppose comes with it being so much taller as well. So you, it's you more know, rugged. You guys don't really want your balls cut, do you? No. And the thing about my seat, it's a flat plank, so you can move around a little bit, you know. Yeah, which when uh, you're doing the off-road stuff, I guess, is an advantage. Yes, because you can lean forward. You can lean right forward and grip the tank with your legs and put the weight towards the front and then when you're like you want a bit of traction at the rear and stuff you just move back a bit and yeah I just I prefer to move around on the seat. Whereas I like I like to be held in place. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, you could, you probably could get different seats for that, I guess. Don't know. We haven't looked if we could. You're quite happy with the seat, so. No, well, you can get a enduro seat, which is a whole bench seat, no separate thing. Okay. You can get an, you can get an ergo seat, which is a comfort seat, and I'm not sure, but it might be a heated seat as well. Oh. 
heated seat. I missed that about my Beetle. That, <laughs> that was old as anything and kept having things wrong with it, but it had heated seats and it was lush. I'm so glad I didn't get your GS. I was going to buy one, but it's just a little bit more pokey, this one. Yeah, well, you wanted something different as well, didn't you? Yeah. So we're not twinning. I mean, I do, like, now I'm back on this and used to it again, like, it's fine, but I did really enjoy riding yours, more so than when I tried your Interceptor, because I didn't, although I did enjoy that, because I wasn't comfortable with the peg position, Yeah. I didn't stay on that as long, which, if I could touch the floor properly on that, I would still be on it now, but I just didn't want to encounter any hills to stop on and um, <laughs> fall to the left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for six grand though, you get a fully adjustable suspension, you get the corner and ABS, you get a digital display. There's just so much you get with this. Even the switch gears lit up. It's got really, really bright headlight. Yeah. You do get a lot for your money. Yeah, you do. It's and good value for money. And, and these tyres are better off around the roads that I've been going on, you know, the sort of off roads, whereas yours won't be as good. No. So if if we, because you do want to try go a, a little bit of off road, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And we're going to have to buy tyres, I reckon, for yours. Well, yeah. Which well, they're going to be a they're going to be a couple of hundred quid, two fifty. Well, this is the thing that is up for debate like because I really want bars for if we go off road but then you're holding off in case I tried yours and wanted one because yeah. then we'll have spent more money on this to then sell it on so um, I've got a bit of thinking to do yeah um, so should we sign out now we've had, you've had a little go yep. worth a go though weren't it it's worth a yeah try. it was nice Think diff try and think yeah. different, broadening my horizons. Because I do, I'm the kind of person that once I'm used to saying, I don't like trying something different in case it just puts me all a diva, like with cars. But although with cars now, I just jump in whatever one, and I'm and I'm much better with that. So I'm getting there. Yeah, with I think doing your motorcycle license has made you more confident as a woman, as a person, isn't it? Yeah, it has definitely. You're a strong, independent woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Golden Bennett. Yeah, so maybe the next video might be us trying some little green lanes together. Or it could be a calf run. You'll just have to subscribe and find out. Yes. So until then, I've been Nick. I've been Joe. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Well, I'd say...